Hello, this is Shekhar Srinivasan, a Microsoft Certified Trainer. In this video, we shall understand how to send a WhatsApp message with the support of .NET application using c -Sharp. The same code what I am writing can be used from any .NET application such as WPF or ASP.NET. I already opened my Visual Studio .NET Windows Forms application. Let me design the form. I placed a couple of labels, text boxes and a button to provide the recipient mobile number and the message to be sent. Once we design the form, the next step we have to do is add the reference of WhatsApp API for .NET. In order to do, click on Tools menu, NuGet Package Manager, Manage NuGet Packages for Solution. Type in WhatsApp. This will search the WhatsApp API for .NET. Click on Install. I click on OK. This is going to add the reference of WhatsApp API in our application. Now we can just try to observe the API got added. Once the API got added, we can start writing our code. So let me just start our coding. Let me increase the font size. For the send button click. I need to have some couple of information to send the thing. First one will be the from. Let me provide my mobile number. And then string two where I try to take the recipient's mobile number string message let's try to take the message what we will type it on the text box once we define the variables then we need to create an object for the whatsapp whatsapp is a class which is present within a namespace whatsapp app api so i just try to create the object by passing the following parameters from then the password and uh, the nickname which I wanted to use is my name shaker and debugging I keep it as false and also hidden I keep it as false once we created an object for the whatsapp the next step we need to handle is on connect success so I say whatsapp on connect success let us try to define an event handler once i connected successfully let me just try to give a message saying that uh, connected to whatsapp this is for our testing purpose only once we have connected successfully then we need to log on to the whatsapp so i say whatsapp on log on success it takes two parameters the first one is the phone number the next one is the data once i log on i need to send the message to do that i simply specify whatsapp dot send message we need to provide to whom we wanted to send the message to comma message if the message has been sent successfully let me try to specify a message message sent once we defined the logon success in case if the login is a failure we need to handle on login fail which will take a parameter data let me provide the message stating that login fail and i just pass the data once we have done with this let me say whatsapp.log in case if the connection is a failure then whatsapp dot on connect fit 
which will take an exception message box connection fail and I say WhatsApp dot connect. Now let us try to execute the application. Let me provide my other mobile number for contacts 9010921619. Let me try to send a message hi from dotnet application shaker i click on send i got a message connected to whatsapp i got a message sent and i can see that i got a whatsapp message there let me click on the whatsapp message we can just observe it the message what i have sent we have received that message just to test it let me try to send once again another message Good morning. I try to specify this. I click on send. I got a message connected to WhatsApp. Message sent. And we can just observe good morning shaker. So our application is working perfectly. If you can recollect in our code, I have used a password. In order to generate the password for your mobile number, we need to download WhatsApp registration tool from this following URL. Once you downloaded the VRAT tool, provide the mobile number, click on request to code. This tool will send an SMS with a six digit number to your mobile. Provide the six digit number in the code and click on confirm code. This will generate the password for your mobile which we have to substitute in our code. Hope you have enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed in preparing this. Happy coding. If you have any queries or for training requirements for corporates or consultants, do reach me at my mail ID shakeronline 4 u at gmail.com or you can reach me to my mobile 90109-21619 or 99518902411. Thanks for watching this video.